the nice guys from 2016 ladies and gentlemen we got another action comedy movie coming at you guys on the channel here today and i'm super excited for this man i've seen this requested for a long time now and i'm finally getting around to it the reason i'm actually doing this today i was i was thinking that i did the other guys right not obviously you know completely different movies and whatnot but still that was an action comedy movie i really fucking enjoyed that and i was like damn i took a look at the cast i took a look at what genre it was and you know i was kind of feeling a comedy today dude so i'm super excited to check this out i haven't seen trailers or anything like that for this all i know like i said it's an action comedy and i took a look at the cast so other than that i'm going into it pretty much blind but i've seen it requested a lot so i'm expecting this to be a banger but guys i'm gonna stop wasting time we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie before we do i do ask if you guys are new channel you do hit that subscribe button comment down below if you guys want to see next man drop a like on the video for your boy full reaction it'll be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie <laughs> my man misty mountains hey oh my god what the fuck <laughs> hey the camaro though misty Oh my god, what are the odds? What in the world? <laughs> How do you like my car? Uh, Big boy. What is this, bro? Oh my god, dude, I've actually never seen uh, one of the older Camaros in that color. I don't even think they came out in that color. She must have got it painted custom, but nonetheless, still. Dude, what is that start? <laughs> Bart, Sarah, and Jonathan are spending their leisure day at the city pool. Let's see what they've brought with them to the pool today. And back in the day when kids would go outside. I heard in Florida they banned social media for kids under 16. That's a good thing. I hope other states follow. Take this little gem. She's 13. Already she's got herself a winner. Sure, he's what? three times her age. But he's got money for pot. And he drives Bro. a nice car. My man. Man, baby. <laughs> Who's the man? Dude, what is wrong with this dude? They you said she's 13? You're the man. Get this man in jail. If you got trouble with someone, someone's messing around with your underage daughter, you might ask around for me. Jackson hey. Healy. Jackson. My man. Man of the people. You're the man. What? Yeah, oh. bro. Yeah, <gasps> brass knuckles on two. girls. <laughs> We need more of this nowadays. I know there's people that expose them online and shit. Mom control device, the recent lawsuit against the big three. Oh my god, dude. March investigation. That makes me so uncomfortable. Clothes being wet like that, worst feeling ever. It's my husband. Fred's his name. He's gone missing. I'm terribly worried. It's just Fred's never been gone this long before. What? She just have dementia or what? How long has he been missing? Since the funeral. Dude, what? Well, I can start right away. Just gonna run them for their money, probably, huh? They've been following me around and asking my friends where I live. I've just been really scared, but um, you make me feel safe. You're short. I'm what? Seven dollars short. Mm -hmm. Right. Sorry. Um. Sometimes give I me feel the money. okay about things. Not often. Become a PI. Those guys help people. Maybe then I'd feel good in the morning. Dude's more like a vigilante. Yay, hi. Name's Amelia. She might be from the neighborhood. Mm. Is this who he's looking for? I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying you don't got to think on your feet. Bend a few rules, maybe. But it's worth it. As long as you get oh. the results. <laughs> Damn! You idiot! That boy's leaking! He must have hit his fucking face. Oh, that's, that's a lot of blood. That is a lot. That's a lot of blood. Motherfucker should have tap taps, not just <laughs> like what? Go, hurry up! Don't go anywhere. Don't stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> Sister Maggie. In other news, a police spokesman says he has not ruled out foul play in the death of adult film star Misty Mountains. Mm, from the start. Jack, I'm fucking your dad. <laughs> He's dealing with some shit. 
Oh, left the brass. Yeah, he's nuts. Messenger service. How will march home? Yep. <laughs> You're a private investigator? <clears throat> Look, there's 20 bucks in there, all right? Just take it. You can afford to live like this as a PI? What's the message? Oh, right, right. <clears throat> this is how he's going to become a private investigator, huh? King for Amelia. <clears throat> She's a person of interest, man. I'm, I'm fine. I'm done. Put a fork in me. Don't really put a fork in me. <laughs> Glenn. What? Lily Glenn. Two ends. Old lady hired me to find her niece on Tuesday. You just gave up your client. I yeah. made a discretionary revelation. No, you just gave her up. I asked you one simple question. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> you what you wanted. What? I <laughs> <laughs> tried it. <clears throat> I get it. I dig it. Yeah. <laughs> you get the message now? Yep. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm cool. All right. Give me your left arm. Huh? Your left arm. Give me your left arm. You gonna break it? Did you cut yourself? I'm dealing with an injury. Right, look, when you're talking to your doctor, just tell him you have a spiral fracture of the left radius. Yeah. Oh, shit! Deep breath. Yeah. Oh, my God! <laughs> All right, Mr. March. You have a good day, okay? Son of a bitch! Oh, man! Hi. Hey. Wanna you who? Hey, you who? Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> Said, fuck this apple. <laughs> Didn't I see you crawling around a vacant lot a couple of blocks over? Um, maybe. I read there sometimes. Right. Is that where mom's buried? It's me, he for you, who? Thank Didn't he say uh, his wife died? Wow. Oh. oh, shit. You got like an Mommy! Elroy! Back downstairs. Mm. We're looking for Amelia. <laughs> Damn, not my you who's she was writing something and then she came out and she drove away and this was two days after mm. the accident. Did she fake her? No way. She died in that accident. I never should have taken your money in the first place. I'm very sorry about that. Even if this Amelia girl isn't my niece, she might know something. Please, please, will you keep looking? Eh? He's like, my arm. It's fucked up, man, if he takes it. He took it, too. It's in his hand. Damn. Tell me the truth. And don't take it easy on me just because I'm your father. You just tell it to me straight. Am I a bad person? Yes. <laughs> just drive. Damn. Bro, how old is she? Like, 13? He got her driving him around? Oh, no, hey, don't. Oh, don't. Don't open that. Belongs to a friend. I just, uh... I'd look after it for him, but it's one of those bags. If you try to open it. Oh, oh, what? Damn. Shit. Like them glitter bombs. The fuck? <clears throat> oh my god, the fish uh, tank. You know water. that color doesn't come off, right? <clears throat> Tried to tell you. <laughs> you want some fucking dinner? You want some Why are you doing this? This is not gonna help you. There you go. No, come on. You're gonna eat that thing, you fucking fuck! Look. What, you came here to uh, make me eat fish? You beat up on me, you trashed the place. I understand, I get it, it's part of the job, I accept it, all right? But what did you do? You did something different from that, didn't you? You pissed me off. <laughs> you made an enemy. Oh. You're a fucking moron. Man, <laughs> Damn. He just shot her. Stupid son of a bitch! Oh. Bro, he shot that lady across. Man, the bowling alley, I miss them days. Christ, one at a time. You took the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> no, I didn't, Janet. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Janet. Jack. <laughs> Jackson. Yep, that's him. Them shoes. March. <laughs> Jack Ely, don't get upset. I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to ask you a question. Yeah. I got a license to carry, motherfucker. Ever mm -hmm. since your little visit the other day, this little baby's going to stay right here. 
<laughs> oh my god. Come on, man. We ain't even gonna wipe. What are we doing? Turn around. Can I open my eyes? Yeah, open your eyes. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I want you to find Amelia. He's like, so you break my arm for it, and now you want me to find her. You know, I asked around about you. There's a couple of people I trust say you're pretty good at this. Well, that's surprising. I would have thought your job ended with breaking my fucking arm. <laughs> you know, she owes you money, doesn't she? You're coming to collect? You want me to finger her so you can uh, throw acid in her face? Well, no. Ah! <laughs> Two days in advance, four hundred dollars, plus whatever the old lady's giving you. Old lady. <coughs> Fuck you, yep. old lady. Get back on the case. Get paid twice. Mm -hmm. I'm a detective, and we have a code. We don't do that, but interesting. He's taking it. <laughs> Last week, this old broad comes to me, and she asked me to find her niece, Misty Mountains. Misty Mountains, the the porno actress, the one that died. <laughs> the young lady, the porno young lady. <laughs> You're the guy who beat up my dad. Hey, yeah. no. Sucker punched your dad. Big difference. He just did it for money. <laughs> you beat people up and charge money? Yeah. Dad, isn't it? That's really your job? Yeah. No way. Yeah. So, um, how much would you charge to beat up my friend Janet? <laughs> Everyone hates Janet. Bucks. Apple pie. Is she a big girl? <clears throat> She's tall. All right, Super but annoying. Apple pie. She's always mean to me. Just That's awesome. good. This conversation no is over. We're just talking. And it's over. <laughs> Dude was about to put a hit out on Janet. 400, two days. We find her earlier. I still get to keep it. Done. Deal. Great. Because I already know where she is. <laughs> this is Amelia's protest group. That's the hot tip I got yesterday before you broke my arm. Yeah, but she's holed up somewhere hiding. What makes you think she's going to be here? That's her protest group. Stop saying <laughs> I, 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 I hear I don't hear you her protest you. group. Hey, Amelia. Amelia? Amelia? <laughs> come out, come out! <laughs> Amelia! We can't talk to you. Who said that? We can't talk to you. We're dead. <laughs> no, I... This is actually a really serious matter. So is this. <laughs> We've all been killed. No, you haven't. Fuck you, man. We're dead! <laughs> the air. <laughs> air. <laughs> the pollution. The birds can't breathe. So all you died because of the pollution? What about the gas mask? They didn't save you? <laughs> True. All right. True. <laughs> Damn! Fucker. Sorry. I thought, I thought you were, were dead. dead. <laughs> Look, Amelia. She's not here because of her boyfriend. Her boyfriend died, like really died, like three days ago. So where is she? Sorry, can't help you. We're dead. God damn it. Well, that's another tip. Balls wants to make 20 bucks, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't take much. Damn. This is Dean's house. Amelia's boyfriend, Dean. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. What the fuck is this, Chet? <laughs> Dean was a filmmaker. Um, I kind of like experimental kinds of films. Um, filmmaker, maybe this is all part of a film? Kid. Uh, what? Is that the kid from the start? You know the guy who lived here? Saw him making a film last month. Experimental Wait. films, right? I guess. I'm like a nudie film. Misty. You saw Misty Mountains here? Yeah. Talked to the producer. I no, his name was Sid. Sid Hatrack. Yeah. Nobody's name is Hatrack. I offered to show my dick because <laughs> I got a big dick. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. Yeah. You sure you didn't see another girl? Nope. You guys want to see my dick? <laughs> what? What was the name of that film? How do you like my car, big boy? There it is. That's what she said to the kid, right? It's all connected. Maybe it's all part of it. That is true. I know what you're going to say. But since I'm already here, you might as well take me in with you, right? Oh, my God. Damn. Um, <laughs> I can't take your car like that. Stop it. What? Stop it. Damn. No, I can help you. Seriously, I came all this way. I love you. <laughs> what did you expect? Some classics. What the hell? What is this? Whoa. Well, we know Mary Jane turned up. Yeah. Who's that? Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Place freaks fit this smoke in it. I can't smell it. What? I got hit in the head a while back. I lost my... 
sense of smell. That is terrible. You're a detective who can't smell? Yeah. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> I think this is going to work better and faster if we split up. Okay? Why do you see a guy with a blue face? You, you come and find me. Yeah, the blue face from his his apartment, right? Excuse me. Hello, handsome. You uh, seem to have a very good vantage point up there. I lost <laughs> my sister. She's yeah. got dark hair, your height. Answers to Amelia. Hey, you want another drink? Just leave the girl alone. Uh, did he roofie him? I think he roofied him. It's like the staging area. Misty scene one. Hi everyone. Hey. I'm Amelia. She's about dark hair. If you see you, just if you see, let me know and tell me tell me my name. Eh, dude is out of it. He's not drinking anything. Ha <laughs> ha! Dude jumped in there. Bro, what? She's in there? Why? I'm supposed to meet someone here. Do you by any chance know a girl named Amelia? I think she did a film with Sid Shadow. Don't know her, but Sid's gross. Dude, I mean, she's probably gonna end up being the one to find her. Hey. I'm a cowboy. What do you do? Do a little bit of acting. Me too. Hey, shoot me. What? Shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Fucking shoot me. Bang. It's pretty good. Bang. Oh. Bang. He's gonna end up falling. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro is drunk drunk. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> Woo, that was great. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Jesus. You scared me. Is that her? Do I know you? I'm not gonna hurt you. Amelia? No, I'm just looking for my gun. Mm -hmm. So. I think that was her. Found it. I got it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Damn. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Dude's face. Oh, my God. It's the Shattuck. Oh. We got a plan. We'll throw up. We'll get rid of the body. <laughs> so let me throw up real quick. Crazy, dude. Hey. Hi. Are you the one who's been asking about Amelia? I may have said something. What do you want with her? She's my sister. I'll take you to her. Mm. I told you she'd be the one to find her. Shit. It was very slippery up there, okay? I was, I was in the pool. You were in the pool? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I had to question the mermaids. Yeah. <laughs> Working. Thank you. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, oh my gosh. What is on the other side of this fence? <laughs> Run. Like I said. <laughs> Sweetie. This one says she's Amelia's sister. Oh no. Is that a fact? This fucking guy. Elroy. <laughs> Instantly. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude doesn't even know what's going on. So fucking drunk. I need to go right no, no, don't, don't. Get away from me. Damn. Uh, I need my car. Hurry. Don't fucking move. Hurry. That's her. Amelia. Oh. Oh. Amelia! Run! Damn. The girl in your trunk. She was in that car. Oh, shit. He thinks this, that she's still with him. Oh, he's gonna grab the gun. Yeah. Fucking Elroy, man. <laughs> Ooh. You get up. I'll shoot you in the cock. <laughs> I can, I can pay you. Damn. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> oh. 
You okay? Does the car still go? Well, stop fucking around. Come on. <laughs> Dude, this is so chaotic. You guys are fast. Woo! <laughs> There's a... Was that our boy Jack? Jackson? Nah, that was just some random person, huh? Come on. Wait, wait. What the hell are you doing? He's still alive. We need are you to help crazy? Him. Are you stay away from him? Just, just hang on. We need to help him. What are you gonna do, surgery? That boy got a broken spine for sure. A car hit him. We need an ambulance. Holly, go and see if you can flag somebody down. He's in a bad way. Is he gonna kill him? Yeah. There's no one here. He didn't make it. I think she knows, kinda, or at least is questioning it. My name is Judith Kuttner. I work for the Department of Justice. Okay, well, that explains basically nothing. <laughs> I'm Amelia's mother. Oh! Little plot twist. The Vegas mob is trying to spread its porn operation to Hollywood Boulevard, and I'm doing everything I can to stop it. Thank you. <laughs> is bad. <laughs> she doesn't trust me. She thinks I am the government. She thinks I'm behind all of this. Maybe she is. She's out there, and she won't call home because she thinks her mother's going to have her killed. Maybe. Professional look, right? Maybe she is behind it because she's trying to cover it up. We're not cheap. This is very intensive work, and for something like this, I'd say I couldn't do it for less than five thousand dollars. She was right in ten. Does Tally have one? Of, should we have hers as well, just in case you're not a uh, you know we need to get in touch with somebody? Mm -hmm. Damn, she was gonna write ten k. That's why you, you let them make the offer first, cause you never know if they're gonna overbid. I think she's behind it. She's trying to find her daughter, right? I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised. She doesn't want that tape going out there if she's all anti this and her daughter's in a film. About a year ago, yes, I was at a diner in Hollywood. This asshole with a shotgun started threatening people. I love it. Mm. It's the best story I've ever heard. So, Is that the shotgun he had under his bed? I didn't plan to. I, didn't, you know, I just did it. I took that guy out. Damn. I didn't even get paid for it. Ooh. So I ended up with a bullet in the bicep and 500 bucks of hospital bills. It was stupid, really. Wow. When I think about it, it's the best day of my life. You saved all those people. And the guy's sleep. <laughs> Just for but, a moment, I felt useful. Sonny did not for money, right? Are you a bad person? Mm. What did you do to that man tonight? Did you kill him? A little bit. Of course not. I knew you couldn't do something like that. Don't stay up too late, right? Oof. Why do you have to be such a fuck up, huh? You go around and you drink and you lie and stuff and people hate you. Sweetheart, don't say and stuff. Just say- I hate you! <laughs> I'll find the girl myself. You're gonna find her yourself? Okay. Well, say hi to her when you do. I will. Of course, you're not gonna find her at the airport seeing as how it's not a flight. Mm. He did do some research. Every airport has an overflight curfew from 10 to 6, Burbank included. And that top number is today's date, but reversed, like the European way, which makes sense when you look at FLT and you think it's not flight, it's probably flat, like apartment. Mm. Got him. Not as bad as y'all think. Do you want your keys? I'm driving. Not as bad as people think. He just don't apply himself because he's in that, depress that, that depression, right? You know, about his wife. It's hard, you know, this, something like that'll turn your life upside down. You seen this girl? She probably came in in the last half hour. Hey, mine just work here. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> What's in it for me? He'll stop doing it. <laughs> doing what? Ow! Yep. Dad. Fuck! She's in the penthouse, top floor. These New York guys are up there. Um, business guys. Mm. They got fucking bodyguards. John boy? And their balls removed. What's that called, huh? Marriage. <laughs> you know, she's got to come back down. Have a couple cold ones on me. Oh, not for me. It makes a strong argument, though. You see? Reasonable. Maybe he's going to call him. <laughs> oh, shit. Someone dead. <coughs> They're dying. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> Said fuck that. Damn. You look at him shaking. <laughs> Terrified. She's not dead. Open your God, eyes, that man. She's fucking you dead. Don't know she oh my God. That's her. Where the fuck did she jump from? Fire escape, I guess, huh? It's okay. You were supposed to get those guys off of me. Do you know who they were? Do you know who sent them? Yeah. It's my mother. Yep. Knew it. She's on the take. Money again, right? Mammon, that's her god. That that fascist crony. Okay, okay. Bogart. All right, all right, right. Just just back up a little bit. That's why she started that group, right? The protester group. Get to the police. She is the police. She's the head of the Justice Department. You, you, you got a point. Okay, or the newspaper. They all work together. <laughs> I made a statement. Right. And yeah, yeah, my statement contained nudity. Porner oh. nudity. That's just the commercial element, okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> said we had to have that. We were getting our message out there, and and it was all in the film. Everything that my mom was doing, and once it was out there, once it was in theaters, there's no way that they could suppress it. There's no way that they could cover it up. So she had the house burned. She killed Dean and destroyed the film. Your mom killed Dean. Of course. She killed Misty, too. And Sid mm. Shattuck. Okay, so it's like Jack the Ripper and then your mom. <laughs> you must be Holly. Dr. Malik. Hi. Mm. Hi. Dude looks like a murderer. Thank you. Shit. In there. Asleep. Slight fever. Mm. On drugs, you think? Maybe smoking the reefer. <laughs> what? This dude is so creepy. Come on now. Was she making sense? Hold on. Um, Holly, what's the name of the guy on the Waltons that plays John Boy with the hockey puck on his face? Oh, is this John Boy? Dr. Malik, would you like a cookie? Just baked him. There's none left. I looked, remember? No, there's a couple. Doctor? She wants to go for the gun. Yep. <sighs> Nurse Holly. What are you doing? Are you crazy? There are handcuffs behind the bar, asshole. This is really slowing me down, Holly. What's going on? Jessica, it's him. He's the guy. Jessica, if you help me with this, I'll only kill Holly. Damn. You better start shooting. He probably got fucking bulletproof vest on though, huh? <laughs> Damn. You hear that? You hear that sound just a second ago? Oh yeah, just now. I threw that little girl out the window. Yep. Damn, don't get hit! Get down! Fucking fascist! <laughs> Stay in here and don't move, okay? okay. Wait, wait, Dad, Dad, here you go. Just <laughs> so get that shit out of my face! March! Gun! Gun! Fucking idiot! Cops! He's gone. Hey! So is she. Amelia's out too. Oh, fuck. Wow. Why? Please, I need to get out of here. Oh, she doesn't know it's him. What the fuck, dude? Wow! What the fuck, man? Holy hell! Oh my god, dude, what? That is fucking ridiculous. Give me a second. Hmm. World's worst detective, huh? Mm -hmm. I see your niece, Mrs. Glenn. You saw her on that wall at a desk in a pinstripe suit. So what she saw? The movie was a movie. Not a movie, the movie. But the film burned up. Well, how did she see it two days after it supposedly burned up? And the wardrobe matches perfectly. So Amelia mm. had a second print. Does this mean, does this mean that my niece is dead? Yes! I mean, <laughs> so insensitive. She was murdered. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna bring down the people who did it. Mm. Yeah, and for a deeply discounted rate. Yeah. So. so insensitive. Yes! Yes, they're mur yes she was murdered. 
Fucking shit. It's hmm? probably still got it stashed somewhere. Oh shit. Tally. My God, you look incredible. <laughs> How do you get your hair down? <laughs> you ever really killed anybody? In Detroit, yeah. Three times. Yeah? You're not a murderer. <laughs> she just said she killed three people. I know, but I'm saying deep down. <laughs> Yeah. Why did you just throw cold coffee on me? You thought it was hot? In the hallway, I thought it was hot. Yeah. Like where your head's at, sweetheart. That really <laughs> like that. All right, you know, everybody in the corner. Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Did it ricochet and hit her? Well, that really worked out. Yeah. Or did she just get knocked out from the fall? <laughs> what the fuck? I got a gun pointed directly at your daughter's spine. Come with me. Screw up. How's this song go? He's acting like he's drunk, but he's really not. I fucked up. Yeah, you fucked up. <laughs> he's faking it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry. Duck. What? Duck. Yeah. Motherfucker. He wasn't quick enough on the draw, bro. Damn. Oh, shit. Into the pool. Damn, bro, he just splat in. Oh my god. Oh shit. Just to cause a distraction. Wow. Blood everywhere. How'd you get down here? I told you to go to the roof. Did you fall? <laughs> On purpose this time. You want it? Go get it. Damn, is that even the right? Oh my god! Bro, she knocked herself out again? Oh no! Give me that fucking film. <laughs> my man got them both. Mr. Healy, what are you doing? Go away, Holly. Healy, stop! Holly. <sighs> Mr. Healy, if you kill this man, I will never speak to you again. Holly, what the fuck you want me to do? <laughs> what a fucking duo, man. You really think you've got something done here? Do you have a clue what just happened? I followed protocol. <laughs> What's wrong with him? I believe he's making a connection between you and Adolf Hitler. Yep. Read the fucking newspaper. <laughs> you can't take Detroit down. And if I'm not there to take care of it, someone else will be. We shall see. <laughs> it's funny because I literally just watched the Niners and Lions game last night and the Niners beat them in a pretty crazy comeback. <laughs> the Nice Guys from 2016 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What a fucking movie, dude. It was a great mix of action and comedy. Sometimes I feel like with action comedy movies, they lean too far toward one or the other, but this one felt like the perfect mix. We had some serious moments in it too and everything like that, which was fucking good. But it's just like, dude, at first I was like, why are we starting the movie like this, right? With the whole crash and everything. And I was like, well, maybe this is ultimately part of the film and they faked their death and it was for the film and this and that, and they're gonna come back. But it turns out it was just ultimate corruption. And at the end of the day, it's like he said, you know, the sun went up, the sun, you know, came down and nothing changed. You know, even though they had all this evidence, it's crazy because, you know, there's corruption like that in the government and in the world nowadays. There's so much crazy shit that goes on that we don't even know about, I'm sure, that's just covered up or passed on. I like at this point, man, like nothing really surprises me anymore when it comes up in the news, dude. I don't really follow the news or anything like that just because it's like, what's the point? It doesn't surprise me, but it was a good plot overall. I loved it. I love the kind of interaction between uh, Holly and uh jackson and healy and him you know it was cool to see that and to ultimately see uh healy and healy and march become partners in the end you know i feel like they have a nice contrast to him healy he's more of a badass a subtle badass right like confidence to him 
can get his hands dirty take people out if he needs to and march he's more on the detective side like we didn't really see him i guess other than this last little moment when he saw holly we didn't really see him go fist to cuff too much at all which at the end of the day you know based off his character and the things he said he was just kind of running people for their money a little bit right running them in a circle not really doing anything whereas healy he wants that purpose in life to be able to help people like he said like at the diner saving those people he didn't get money for it or anything he literally got shot in the arm and ended up having a 500 hundred dollar hospital bill which he had to pay for himself and this i think this said this was in the like 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 the 70s so that's a lot of money you know what i mean but he still said that was like the best thing he ever did in his life he feels like because ultimately he saved all those people and it was for something essentially bigger than himself and it wasn't for money or anything like that so it's just kind of the reasoning behind it for both of them but with march you know he was obviously in a depression throughout the movie and it kind of came full circle at the end where his tattoo got messed up a little bit so everything that happened with his wife it's sad and it's tough and it's like when you when you go through something like that or you lose somebody like that dude it's you never really recover from it right like when you lose a loved one especially someone that's that close to you you know mother father brother sister significant other you don't really ever go back to normal you kind of find a new normal so to speak you don't really go back to how it was when they were around you go back you kind of find a new norm which is just it's just kind of how it is but fantastic movie absolutely loved it let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below like always if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one